Hey everybody, this is Justin Popovich back again on Orangeville Vlog, and today I'm with a longtime friend of mine, Russell Scott from True Source Seminars here in Orangeville. And uh, thanks for joining me today, Russell. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, it's my pleasure. And we're actually we're sitting here in the uh, the meeting hall, is it? Yeah, meeting of hall. The uh, Ecology Retreat Center in Hockley. And if you've never been, this is my first time here today. And uh, I'm really, I, I really love the Hockley area, and it's just amazing here. So you got to come check it out. There's creeks running just behind this building. It's, you sometimes forget the amazing stuff we have here in Orangeville. But anyway, so Russell, I wanted to ask you. Uh, there's, there's probably a lot of people in our community that may have seen your, your mm -hmm. you know, your logos, yeah. your website, yeah. but they don't necessarily know a lot about you. So yeah. I want to try to introduce people to you. Sure. So tell us a bit about True Source Seminars, uh, some of the stuff you're working on this summer, and maybe okay. upcoming in the fall. Okay, so uh, basically what I am is a uh, workshop facilitator and I also do one-to-one uh, uh, -one, uh, counseling and coaching work and uh, uh, you, you, know, you know, like, um, you know, a lot of people like read a lot of, you know, self-help books and, and they wonder, you know, you know why, why my life hasn't changed or maybe they start looking back on their life and they go, like, what happened, you know, mm -hmm. like, what happened to the life I thought I was going to live? So. So what I do is I, I help people uh, really get in touch with uh, what their real purpose is in life and who they really are inside and what is their true nature so that they can, they can live from that and create their life from that truth about themselves rather than kind of live in you know, the, the suffering and the pain and re kind of recycle all that stuff from their past yep. um, and keep recreating the same old, same old. So, uh, that's basically what I do, f help people find out what their purpose is, who they actually are, and then help them live from that, create their life from that. And it, 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 it means that they have a much more rewarding life yeah. uh, when they do that. So, okay, that's great. So, um, and how do, you, how, is, how do you typically do this? Is it a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching or uh, I know you do workshops as well. What's, yeah, so do I do, uh, yeah, do workshops, personal development workshops. And then one on one, where I really focus specifically on what the issue is that that's really blocking that person, and uh, what's in the way, and then clear that out of the way. And oftentimes, it's early stuff, you know, in their life that somehow they form this idea about themselves that's erroneous, or they're kind of involved in some sabotaging pattern that uh, you know they, they they've got to do something else other than what they really want to do. So I help them really clear that, and then their life takes off. And then I do uh, uh, some workshops, so like for instance the one that's coming up in September, that's September 2nd to 7th, it's called uh, True Awakening. And that uh, addresses this fundamental question, who am I, you know, like beyond my social personality, beyond my body, you know, the person that, uh, you know, I've been kind of uh, cultured to be by my family <laughs> or the culture, uh, you know, who am I underneath all that? And so people have this very, it's a very profound actually spiritual experience and uh, social so, personality that's an that's interesting it. word I've yeah. never thought of it but it's true I think a lot of people just stop at that like this is who I am socially yeah and I don't really take it any further than that yeah so. I'm, I'm, I'm my personal history and I'm, I'm my yeah. autobiography yeah you know yeah. if you write an autobiography that's who I am um, and uh, you know we, we call that the ego you know Eckhart Tolle really talks a lot about that social personality so True awakening goes beyond that. Who's the one underneath that, you know? And so then when you start to live from that authentic part of yourself, then your relationships improve, uh, you know, people like you at work much more, you become much more real. Uh, you, you experience the joy and peace of life much more. Uh, so your whole, your whole sense of uh, fulfillment in life just goes up like 10, 20, 30 times. It, you know, it's really, uh, uh, you know, then you start to really live your life yeah. in a much more deeper way. Yeah, that's great. Can you, can you give us an example of somebody, not necessarily naming names, but somebody who went through that experience where they came in and they maybe just totally shut down from the world around them and then you were yeah. able to either create an experience or network them with people and then something changed? Yeah. Yeah, so there was a woman from uh, Kingston actually came uh, to this True Awakening workshop and I, I remember her, you know, she'd be sitting across from other people and she'd just be like this, you know, like her hair would be down and it was just like this dark cloud was around her, you know, and she was just in this kind of really kind of depressed state and, and, um, and she, you know, she would, wouldn't share very much and uh, anyway she went through this uh, process of the true awakening 
And at one point on the workshop, she, she just was like she woke up. She just realized, this is who I am, you know? Like underneath all of this, there's this uh, incredible, wonderful person. And it was like a, it was like a real change in her. Like she, there was, it was like she was glowing. She'd be sitting across from another person and eyes would be wide open. She'd just be totally presenting herself. And, uh, and she went home and uh, got this email from her daughter uh, you know, a couple days later. Thanks for you know getting my real mother back. Wow, that's cool. And, and, and you know she could hardly venture out of the house. After that, she like enrolled in a course in becoming a psychotherapist. And here she was traveling from like Kingston to Toronto once a week, uh, where she you know she hardly ever got out. She joined this uh, um, uh, uh, volleyball uh, uh, group, started playing volleyball, and then she ended up meeting a guy. Like I mean, it's really quite. So that was quite my question phenomenal. Was it wasn't just like a, a temporary change on that weekend. It actually it it, st it stuck. Yeah, it, it really did. And wow, this that's is cool. the. I've done, I've been involved in a lot of different kinds of trainings and uh, this one I've been trained to do, you know, it's not something I developed. Uh, but the reason I, I, I continually put this workshop on is because it has such a dramatic effect on people's lives. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So uh, I, wanted, I wanted to quickly get into some more of the local stuff as well. You, I, I know people can check out your work on your, on your website as yeah. well. Um, which is, what's your website? Uh, www.truesourceseminars.com And we'll put a link on that blog post here. Yeah. So I want to ask you, um, what, for you, what is it you like about the Orangeville area specifically? I know you're out in Hockley as well, yeah. but it's all kind of part and parcel of the yeah. area. What do you like so much about doing business here and living here? I, I just, well, I first, first of all, I love the people. You know, people are so open and friendly here compared to going into Toronto, of course. <laughs> I mean, the, the natural environment is incredible. It's very beautiful here, especially in the Hockey Valley where I live, and, yeah. and, and I'm very close to the center here. Um, there's also just so much diversity and uh, interest in this area, and so much skill, like the artistic community. There's so many really good people, and a, and a lot of really good holistic therapists, uh, workshop leaders, yourself. Uh, there's just a lot going on here. Like there's, in, in a way, there's no reason for people that are, you know, interested in healing, personal growth, really to go to California or Toronto. Yeah. Like, there, there is so much here, and uh, I'm really grateful to you that, that you're kind of exposing with this, you know, your blog here, Great. What, what's going on in, in Orangeville with the people that are here. Cool, hey, thanks for saying that. Hopefully, yeah. yeah, hopefully just the people that want to learn about this stuff find value. That's, yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah. So, uh, more of a fun question. What's your, where's your favorite spot to go out for a dinner or for a uh, favorite, some downtime? Favorite spot? I know you're a busy uh, guy. Oh, I really like uh, South 88, you know, yeah. I really like going yeah, out there. Stuff. And, uh, uh, yeah, um, what else? Uh, I think, um, uh, yeah, South 88. Uh, I like to go to the Mad Hatter every once in a while. Yeah. And just down the road here in Hockley, there's the, uh, the Black Birch, yeah. Black Birch, Black Birch. Birch. I like yeah. to go there, yeah. yeah. It's like Saturday nights they have jazz, so I like to go there and have, yeah. have, a, have a Brewster, you know. Yeah, have a Mark's Brewster. done a good job with this yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, very good. Well, thanks again for, for joining me today. Yeah. Uh, just a quick interview with Russell, but hopefully it's given everybody watching a chance to get to know him better and some of the work he's doing. And like all these interviews, uh, the idea is getting to know people in the area. So if you see him around town, I know, actually before we go, what's uh, where can we find you in town? Because I know you're doing some stuff. You do your uh, you do a, a gathering in Orangeville. Yeah, actually, uh, you, you, uh, once every couple of weeks, I do uh, something called Circle of True Friends, and yeah. we have it here at the retreat center. And and people from the community can come, and it's it's an opportunity for people to explore personal development, spiritual concepts, and and, and deepen your own understanding of that. And it's by donation, and it's a great place. Uh, people that are really interested in searching. You know, can find really what I call a true friend. You know. Yeah. So that's there. Uh, if they want to get a hold of me, uh, yeah, just go on my website, uh, www.truesourceseminars.com, or, or they can call me uh, five one nine. Let's see if I got this right. Nine four two eight three three nine. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah, good. So, yeah. Once again, it's been Russell Scott on uh, with Justin here on Orangeville Blog, and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again.